Hello, sir. My, my name is uh, Nila uh, Mittal, and I'm a student here. I have one, uh, one question, which is short. When I was coming here inside, I saw that uh, uh, that uh, men entrance is is uh, is uh, separate and uh, women entrance is uh, is separate. I just want to know that why men and uh, find uh, uh, women are being separated. I mean, I've attended many other uh, functions. I'm I'm a Hindu basically, so I attend Hindu functions and I, I also attend. Uh, these these functions in Hindu one I see that uh, that we all uh, uh, sit together, but here I am seeing that uh, there's a there's a separation here as you can see. May I know the what it holds in in Islam? My beloved brother, thank you so much, and I appreciate the question and your honesty and your bravery to have come up and questioned it. It's good. The reality is bottom line when we believe. We take instruction from Allah and His Messenger. That's how it stops. You follow what I'm saying? When we believe in Scripture, we've, we've believed in Allah. We did, not impose this, we did not impose this ruling on the rest of the globe. But for us, we believe in Allah and His Messenger, so we take instruction from them. If they have said something, it's closed. The chapter is closed. That's what makes us Muslim. And if we understand the logic, Alhamdulillah, that's good enough. If we don't understand the logic, there may come a day that we may, but that doesn't mean we won't follow the rule up to that day. We will still be following the rule. However, if you take a look at, uh, you know, the nature of a male and a female, Islam has protected the female such that any uh, attempt to degrade a woman to a sex object in any way whatsoever is actually blocked and stopped and considered taboo and a sin. So I don't mean to pinpoint or to pick on any other cultures, but if you take a look at people who perhaps um, are not that disciplined, you would find that you know the women who who lead lives that are uh, not full of the level of spirituality they are supposed to be upon would probably spend so much time, you know. Uh, with decorating themselves in order to go out of the home to impress people who are not allowed to touch them and who are not allowed to have anything. So basically the man would look and he'd see someone far better than his wife and he goes back home and he cannot you know, tolerate his wife because he's seen so many others. They've displayed themselves wholly and openly to the rest of the world and you can't have them. So it leads you to sin, we believe. And it leads you to not appreciating what the Almighty has blessed you with. You know, if everyone... In fact, I was just talking to one of my friends and I was saying, you know, if all the women had to wear loose clothing and if everything the men saw was women in loose clothing, we would appreciate the figures of our own women because we wouldn't really be able to say, oh, I've seen figures far better than yours. Now you're becoming fat and ugly. And astaghfirullah, she's just gaining a bit of weight because of children you have actually got with her. So to preserve the woman and to treat her for what she is and her level, we are taught a few things. One of them is, both men and women should lower their gaze. You know, protect your gaze. If you lower your gaze, Wallahi, the day you look at what you're supposed to be looking at, you will appreciate it so much because to you, they, you know, you are not basing the, 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 the beauty of your wife on some of some women you might have seen on, on, on the internet or perhaps on the television or on the streets, but you're basing it on who she actually is. She's sacrificed, she's actually, you know, come forth and you have nothing in your mind to, to, to gaze it be with besides her and this is something really very respectful of us of a woman similarly the issue of dressing in looser clothing and this is for both male and female is also in order to respect where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clearly advising us to dress in a way that people would not judge you based on your size and shape and what you look like I know of a lot of girls and women who become depressed because of their complexion and because of their size and because of various other matters and sometimes the men rub it in and they don't understand it's prohibited to do that so they are taught to dress in a specific way out of Allah's gift to them to say your value is not from your shape your value is not from your complexion you know people they go extraordinary lengths in order to just you know lose a bit of color May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. And then the last point I'd like to raise is when it comes to functions, uh, we know that a lot of the times, you know, if you have women and men mixed together, 
And I'd like to give you an example with all due respect of some churches that have women and men dancing together they, and, and they, they are all operating together and they move around together and marriages are breaking, my brother, because you get very angry if someone had to look at your wife and smile at her and you know, wow, you know, there's two, three types of smiles. You can tell straight away there's something wrong here. And then phone numbers are exchanged and things happen. So we treat a woman as though, hey, I need to get to this woman she's too good she's beautiful wow I just need to get there and then we use them and we leave them after a while and we're gone to someone else and this keeps on happening I'm not saying it will happen because we are responsible people I mean today perhaps if we had to meet one or two women that wouldn't happen perhaps but Islam says close the door from the beginning just close the door so that you don't need to worry subhanallah so if you look at a masjid if, if I want to concentrate, I need to actually have the women uh, separated from me and they need to have me separated from them because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, if I get a beautiful scent of a female while I'm praying, astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us, what would be the condition of the mind? Imagine you're praying and next thing, what happened? Hey, the smell, Ooh, I wonder, look at that figure, Ooh, look at that. You are insulting Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the same time you're not appreciating the gifts of Allah. Today we have a beautiful discussion of faith and spirituality. If there are women sitting in the midst of men, I'm not saying it would have been exactly the case, but you know how the world has been sexualized completely. We are living in a hypersexual stage of the globe. It's the worst it ever was. Before people used to greet by shaking hands. Today a lot of the people greet by sexual statements and utterances and perhaps even, you know, intentions of taking people to bed whom they're not supposed to be with. It's a fact. May Allah strengthen us and may He forgive us and our children, may He strengthen us all. So, if we have a separation, there is a lot of respect. That is one thing you can notice. Can I ask you one question? Can you notice the amount of respect we have for females? If you notice, there are females on my right. They will have definitely noticed that this man did not give us a clean-cut glare into the crowd where the women are. I'm sure they would have noticed that. Why? Not because I see them as something intimidating because of the respect I have for the females. Somebody's wife, somebody's sister, somebody's daughter. It could have been mine. Imagine someone stares at a face that is glaring from somewhere and the speaker's just looking at this person and they go home and say, he looked at me, he looked at me. You defeat the whole purpose of the talk. Why are we here today? You defeat the whole purpose. I lose respect and people start beginning to spread rumors and so on. And we are supposed to be speaking of spirituality. So powerful question. I hope what I've said has just helped. But I'd like you to go deeper and research because I cannot do justice in just a few minutes uh, to what you've asked. I've only tried to give you part of the answer. And I hope that the uh, you know, gathering would appreciate what I've just said. Barakallah. Thank you, sir.